Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we hate snow. Okay, <laughs> it's actually snowing right now in Arizona. What's up with that? I actually, I do really love snow. I'm really excited to go snowboarding soon. I haven't done that yet this year, so got to do that soon. But uh, Redain, God of the Worthy, is the ultimate snow hate card. And I wanted to play a deck that was just around Redain, basically, because it looks really fun. So three mana, two, three, flying vigilance. Snow lands your opponent's control. Enter battlefield tapped. Non-creature spells your opponent's cast with convert mana cost four or greater. Cost two more to cast. There, that doesn't stop a lot of like removal spells or anything like that, but this does stop board wipes. Doomscar becomes more expensive. Uh, you know, anything that's foretold gets cheaper, but then all of a sudden gets more expensive again, you know, like, or if it's four or greater. Uh, so this stops the ultimatum deck a little bit. Um, and not only that, but if we get to mutate onto Redane and have multiple copies, then life is pretty great. Then everything costs even more. We also do have the other side of it, the four mana artifact legendary, or the, the artifact side of this, uh, where if a source and opponent controls will deal damage to you or primary control, prevent one of that damage. That's actually a pretty big deal against mono red decks where they tend to go a little bit wide. A lot of things are pretty big now as well, but we still can protect ourselves for probably potentially like five points of damage per turn, which is a big deal. And then whenever you or another permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or an ability and opponent controls spell or an ability, which is cool, a counter that spell or ability unless the controller pays one. Uh, and so this is um, if they're ticking up with Ugin or whatever uh, in, in targeting something ours, it could just get countered if they didn't uh, if they didn't pay one for it, you know. Uh, and so we're doing some fun stuff with this deck. I, I decided to go into Abzan a little bit so we can have Binding the Old Gods just because it's good removal in general. It's a good hate card. Uh, we get to play our good stuff with Mutate. So basically the idea is we want something things to mutate onto so that we can ramp up with a migratory great horn uh and so all seed lights bounty gilded goose and lotus cobra are the best things they ramp up pretty well all seed lets us have a little bit of protection for our redain uh so we can kind of keep hate on the board or protecting a sterix and we just get to mutate in, or into really big things you know uh gem razor actually pretty good in the format right now and i need to change the art of that i i really am not a fan of this art here there we go that's better <laughs> uh some of the some of the uh um what's called godzilla arts are fun but not that one <laughs> that this is just so much cooler i like it uh all right uh auspicious Styrix is just kind of the other game plan here get out auspicious Styrix, do cool things we also have uh, mythos of nethray which i haven't really seen played in a while i haven't played in a long time uh but we can get it out onto the battlefield for five mana it's a death touch like laker five five it's actually good stats there and then we can mutate onto it or we can have seven mana mutate onto something else but whenever this creature mutates return any number of, of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield uh so we can just get all of our creatures back we can get a redeem back to the battlefield if we need to. We can get, you know, a lot of different things in general. And then we also have one copy of Eerie Ultimatum, which just brings permanents back with different names so we can bring back our Ugins, our Garricks, our you know, Vivians, and everything else. And so a little bit of... Uh, graveyard protection or like board wipe protection in the late game if we ramped up enough and i think with migratory great horns gilded gooses lotus cobras and binding the old gods we should be able to mutate enough or uh, ramp up enough auspicious sterix and so this is the deck uh i i do think it's a little bit lacking it's more about like hey we're gonna do a cool thing and then we're just gonna hope that we have a good win con on board afterwards i mean six sixes and big things in general are, are typically good you know a flying four four is not the worst uh but this is more about we're gonna do the fun thing <laughs> and then hope the good things come after uh and then we'll see all right so let's go jump into the gameplay see how this one does for us and just declare into the world that we hate snow um dude where did the text go on this and now it's showing that's a five five that's interesting dude what happened i think i just broke the game a little bit somehow Everything is missing. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. All right. Uh, played Oak Rim. And I obviously did not put in Snowlands into this deck. Okay. I'm not all about that. <laughs> uh, do we keep this? This is just Gilded Goose. That's not actually that amazing in my hand. We have all of our expensive stuff. We're on the draw. We can find a lot of other things to play. Um, we definitely don't have like an amazing start. This is just a five, like turn four play. This isn't the worst. Turn six into this. Um... We're going to keep it. We have our best early gameplay. And we found Redain. Turn two Redain. Here we go. <laughs> We're not sure if they're playing snow yet. We'll see. Uh, I'm playing in free play because there's going to be more snow stuff here in general. Uh, once you get to more competitive levels, there we go. 
<laughs> yeah, I foretell stuff. All right, so we get to uh, Redain on turn two. That is basically what we've always wanted to do in life. Now all your snow lands come in tapped. Booyah. <laughs> Take that, fool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now if this is a Doomscar, it's back up to five mana. Um, the only other thing that would be annoying is like the removal spell here. Oh no, even even some of the for, like the foretell removal spells are more expensive. What's what's the one that scries to? I think it's three mana. Foretell something else. Okay. Uh, we can gem razor onto this as well. Let's uh. Do I want to just meek? All right, let's gem razor onto the gilded goosey. Ramping would probably be the better play there, just to get up to like the mytho or the the Nethroi. We don't have anything in the graveyard to mutate onto though with, and then we're not also ramping up to a Styrix necessarily at that point. So we'll just we'll play we'll go aggro. This is pretty quick. All right, plays out a Snowland tapped. Ha! <laughs> Search for glory. They get to gain one life. <laughs> Uh, any board wipes are more expensive, so the snow tap lands aren't going to work as well here. <laughs> and then we're just hoping to get as much damage in to where we can eventually ramp up and kill them with like a Nugan. Kaya. Kaya. Uh, Kai gets the exile permanent on the next turn with an untapped land. Do they actually have an untapped land? I'm not so sure about that. Um, all right, mutate onto Redain. Put it over, get a little bit more damage, get some rampageness. Grab planes, swing them in. All right, one more land and we get Styrix. We have two things mutated, and so whatever they exile, we can just put onto the other one. We get a hidden for six. Good game. Got yeah, tapped land. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. I really wish I could draw off the top of the deck just to see if we had that land there, because it would be really, really nice. But there we go. Hating on the snow right away. Don't eat yellow snow. All right, up against Goose the Cat, and we have another two turn two Redain, but also turn two Migratory Greathorn, which is typically better. So that into Redain seems slow <laughs> And then we have both sides of Redain that we can play too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Speaker of the Heavens, okay. Not a snow land, darn it. Um, Put this on black. Great Horn. Grab some white mana. We have Redain for the next turn, and we just have a 3-4. Turn two three fours, I've heard, are pretty decent. They also grab you lands and ramp up. Dude, this card is so good. <laughs> it's so busted. Youthful Valkyrie. All right, up against Angels. Intriguing. Um, What side of this do we actually want more now? They don't have snow lands. Non-creature spells are a little more expensive. In general, that is good for us. Let's go ahead and play out Redain. Swing in with the Great Horn. Down to 18, and we might just play both sides of it just for the love of playing both sides of it, you know? <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're gonna have like uh, some other things. Oh no, that's bad. That's really not good for us. Um, oh yeah. Do I just need to go aggro here? I might just play out Gem Razor just for a blocker as well. Giving it lifelink could be fun. I guess we'll do that. All right, let's go all see the lights bounty. Um, attack in with Great Horn. Um, and I think we're gonna mutate this onto the all seed. So now we have a reach with lifelink. Booyah. And that's the whole reason all seed is there, is to do that kind of shenanigans. Oh, it's a Bane Slayer Angel. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst thing that could have happened. Um, giving the Gem Razor protection is not the worst. 
If it would do damage to a permanent, you or a permanent control prevent one of that damage. Um, that's a little bit interesting. We can at least make this a four, five, and then I'll see it on the next turn and get it. All right, so let's let's go ahead and try for this. So let's go uh, the shield side. No attacks past the turn. Yes, they do get to hit a lot with Baneslayer Angel. Youthful Valkyrie. I guess technically we can block and kill it though. A second Baneslayer Angel. Oh boy. <laughs> well, crap. So we can technically block this with all of our stuff and kill it. They kill probably the Gem Razor first. I don't want them to gain too much life here. We need a board wipe. All right, no blocks this time. We'll go down to 15. Um, another gem razor. I put it onto another all seed life bounty. I think this time we're just gonna play it out because I think I actually wanna use all seed itself later. So no attacks past the turn. Okay. Starnheim Aspirant. They should swing in with the Youthful Valkyrie here as well. Alright, so we get to kill one of them. I guess Redain really doesn't do a whole lot for us here. It might be stopping, like... Okay, Starnheim, I guess, becomes a little bit more... Uh, not necessarily. Okay, let's... Yeah. Block and kill one. Take five, they go up to 24. I don't know, they gain, they still gain five life here. So yeah, Speaker Heavens gets the U trigger. Yeah, I think that we just needed more ramp for this to actually work. Maybe I should have been putting Gem Razors onto Great Horn just to try to ramp into Ugin or something. Um, as is, we screwed. I can play out the Nethroi. Did they not kill anything? How do they not kill anything? The source and opponent controls will deal damage to you or permanent you control. Prevent one of that damage. How do they not kill anything there? What did they put first? I totally missed it. Like, why did that work? That should not have worked. At all. The auto damage, oh, did they try to put it one, two, oh, so they tried to, the auto damage automatically puts one damage to the next thing, and so everything with four toughness, uh, it will, it'll go to four, and so it actually prevents one of the damage, so the fact that I double blocked actually lets me win, now that's stupid, but sweet, okay, um, they, oh no, it's, 20, it's seven more life, so they didn't quite get up to enough for Speaker of Heavens. What? That's so interesting. Uh, so Starnheim, I think, is what's going to be coming out here. I feel like playing one angel, getting up everything bigger. Okay, or don't do anything worthwhile. Sounds good. Uh, I'll see the life's bounty. Uh, I could protect this and swing in. I'm also kind of fine trading off with just about anything. So let's just gain some life. I think they just block with one of the Starnheim aspirants. Or Bean Slayer Angel. Uh, okay. <laughs> we also have protection that we can give it, so. So we're, we're trying to just keep them off of the Speaker of the Heavens a little bit here. Uh, yeah, okay. Back up to 20. Pass the turn. Okay, yeah, there they are. They gain some life. Yeah, this this is where things get bad. We need to find an Ugin and quick. So uh, the best draw for us here is a Strix. All right, create some food. Um, I guess we 
go to my turn. We might actually need a ramp with that. Come on. Hey, right, keep swinging in with the death toucher. And life gain in general. So yeah, and I, I'm fine giving this protection, blocking stuff on the next turn. They should have attacked in there. Uh, we definitely get screwed. Just takes it. Yeah, their life total is high enough. They're fine. We're just trying to gain life. Pass the turn. Creates another angel, gains six more life. Yeah, bad things happen. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely still in trouble here. Uh, come on, Ugin. <laughs> I believe in you, Oog. Okay, pass to my turn. Yeah, we technically still kind of dodge because they only do four damage to things. That is so weird. The auto damage is so funky with that. Um, all right. Guess just do that. Gain some more life. Slow the game down a bit more. So we prevent one of the damage. Um, so we will just trade off as is. Yeah, we can always just bring back all seed, right? So let's just protection from white. Pass the turn. What they need to do is get go wide enough that they can just kill us in one swing. We don't have enough blockers, but with us finding Gilded Goose again, we actually do still have a decent amount here. Um, pass to my turn. Another great horn. Well, that's a way to ramp. So let's do this. I forgot to create a food token. Um, could go here and bring back all Seed of Life's Bounty. Is that better than just getting two lands? There's no artifacts or anything to kill. Yeah, we're not needing that many lands. Uh, under. Yeah, we can all seed back. Yeah, I probably could have attacked in first and brought more stuff back, but uh, in fact, that probably was the best play. Let's grab another green source. All right, pass the turn. Should have attacked him with an Ethroy again. Oh well. Speaker number two. Yeah, basically, as soon as they find another Valkyrie. Yeah, these guys are massive. Pass to my turn. Another. Well, okay. Um. How much stuff do they have with lifelink? We get to bring everything back again. Let's go with... Alright, protection from white. Attack in. I, I want to just thin our deck in general, so I, I want to gain, get some more lands out of the deck. And... Oh. Forgot the customer to actually like mutate with this, but oh, it's protection from white right now. Oops, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> uh, well, let's go ahead and just make something else bigger. Let's put it onto Redain, or no, let's go, let's go here. Now we have a five-five with death touch in the air. Uh, put it over. Darn it, I forgot about that. Uh, keep this one. Yep. Great Horn, All Seed. Um, 
heard it. I, I totally messed up here. That's okay. Grab. Swamp. Alright, pass the turn. We do technically still have mana to uh, get protection with. Alright, come on, Ugin. I believe in you to Oog. Negative three. We're fine with Baneslayer Angel. That doesn't actually matter to us, but we have a lot of things at four convert my costs or higher. So we have one new game in the deck. We can find it. What's up, Phil Stallery? How you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. More Secret Heavens is also bad. Dude, so much life gain. At some point, they've got to just attack in, right? Okay. So we get to kill a couple of things, I believe. So first off, um, we kill Baneslayer Angel. I believe the way that it works there that it'll actually not be able to kill us. So Baneslayer Angel down. Um, anything that we double block, we get to kill. So let's block here. I think we go Redain there. We have another Redain, and then I just give protection. Oh, wait, sorry, not that one. On the bigger one. So 12, 24, 20. Uh, so 30 points of damage. Going to 5, we get to gain some life in a couple of different places here. So, uh, yeah, block like that. Uh, protection here from white. I think that's how it works, right? Yeah. So they didn't... They did, Were they able to control to not put any damage somewhere else? Okay. I wasn't sure if they were able to do that. Um, why didn't it work like the same way as it did last time? That's really funny. Maybe, maybe they, just the way that they arranged it. Well, no Ugin. It's probably game. <laughs> and that's fine. More lands. Yay. Yeah, pass the turn. I'm still going to hold off one more turn because we could have it. Um, they can kill a lot of stuff here too. Before damage. Retribution. Actually, now they can't use the ability at all because the abilities do target our stuff and cost one more to cast now. So, Oh, oh bummer. You can't do it. You should have read the cards before you played the thing out. Oh, yep, yep, can't do it. Sorry about that, sir. <laughs> you have a slight feeling you might be dead. Yep, basically. Um, okay, resolve. So they did it. It gets countered. Good job. You can try again. Just keep going at it, man. Just do it again. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I think we get to survive one one turn here. I'm not totally sure. We do have... Uh, they killed the other thing with lifelink. Oh, no, this one has lifelink. So we get to gain nine life still. Block four creatures, the biggest things. We're still taking a bunch and a half. And then if we get to Ugin, uh, maybe, I don't know. They're still at 98 life, so we'll see. All right, so they're saying a game. Uh, good for you, sir. Oh, yep, luck there. It's not actually lethal. We still get to gain life. I mean, it's basically game. Then we get to gain back up to seven. Ugin. Come on, Ugin. <laughs> that would be such an insane job. We have one. We have one. All right, spirit figures to the max. Lotus Cobra. All right, good game. We'll, we'll give it to him now. I, I'm actually. I want to go ahead and take the damage here. So no attacks. L let's let's have it go. Double strike from all the angels. This way they they don't just win from the Baneslayer Angel. It's a lot of damage. And if they were able to do the double strike with this too, it'd be busted. All right, they're going to keep going. That's fine. How much life is this? This is up to 124, or wait, 22. Whatever. I can math. I can math. <laughs> Rope him. Get him. No, I'm not. I'm not that way. No, no blocks. 
take all the damages in the world. <laughs> There's a slight difference between our life total and his life total. Just a little bit. Negative 71, 128. You know, it's it was a close game. It was a close game. <laughs> Up against Sipco, and we have another turn to Redain or Mega Critter Great Horn. Let's see if there if we see a snow land, then we're definitely going for Redain first. Even though it might be the worst way to go. Um, so Gilded Goosey. Alright, don't you kill my goose. <laughs> don't kill the goose. <laughs> Come on, snow land. Come on. Yes! Okay, no removal. Yes! Yes, indeed. All right, Redain. Ha 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 They might just kill a Redain here, of course, but still, still. Royal Scions pumps the heart fire. All right, all right. Uh, I might want to get Redain out of danger with the Great Horn here. You will not block our noble path. Yep, no blocks. That's that's bad. It's still a little bit painful. I can also get closer to killing the real signs if I spread the love a little bit more with this. Uh, let's go white mana, and we also get closer to Vivian. Let, let's let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, Redain is bad. Real signs, we can almost kill here. Uh, green mana for the Vivs. We get Vivian on the next turn as well. And then we get multiple mutations on the turn after that with, uh, yeah, with, if we get an untapped green source. Intriguing. <clears throat> or actually untap any land, as long as I can grab another green source here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the Royal Scions, the art on this is so good. I actually, I really like the card as well. I think it's powerful. Draws a card. My plan is crystallizing. They could have pumped it just to kill Redain. Uh, it looks like they're not running that many snow lands. Uh, they might be running a few more more expensive cards though. Hate the snow. <laughs> no more snow. Yeah, is it better to kill Redain or if they have removal, it might be better for the Great Horn. Oh. What's up with that crap? Down to 10. All right, our life total is actually pretty low. We've got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, yeah, Vivian costs more at the moment. Do they have a way to like blink this and bring it back? I don't think there's any way to do that right now. Mr. Stompy. Are any of you guys as confused as I am right there? Was that their just way of scooping? Or was it... Did they actually think that was going to work? I, okay, going on the next one. <laughs> Jeepers. All right, let's run the board. And we have... I'll seed into Lotus Cobra into land into Great Horn. Holy crap, Ole. Yeah, that sounds great. Please, no removal. We will get out I'll see Life's Bounty as a way to get this. It is a little bit tempting to go fight Fable Passage first to make sure that we have, you know, mana for Mutate, but we'll go for the best possible outcome. I feel like that's, it's always what I do. I try to go for the best possible thing that happens, And but the issue is usually when you're going for the best possible outcome, it's the most um, easily to destroy. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Let's find our Mythos of Nethroi, or Eerie Ultimatum now. <laughs> yes. Lotus Cobra. We also have Redain, uh, not Snowlands. Bummer. You would think that people would just... Like, there are some people that say, like, just only play Snowlands, but th there is a reason why you don't. It's because people play Redain. Who does that? <laughs> All right, gets the mill going. Frantic Inventory. Right, how much mana do we actually get? Ooh. That's so good if we can get to that. In fact, it might be better just to play it out. How much mana do we have here? Not quite enough. 
but I can also go uh, binding the old gods. Okay, here we go. Change of plans. Um, grab a black source. Add black mana. Binding the old gods. Kill the rune crab. Hidden for three. I want to hold on to Migratory Great Horn so I can use it with Nethroi. So we play Nethroi. Hear me out, guys. We play Nethroi. We mutate it. We get all the things back from the graveyard. <laughs> Life's pretty good. And then we kill Mono Blue Mill. Does that sound great? That sounds pretty great. Okay, we're that's what we're doing here. <laughs> yes. All right, so we get a land. Oh, we need another untapped land. Darn it. Um... All right. We're going to play the other Binding Old Gods. So we can do it on the next turn. Um, yeah, green mana, Binding Old Gods. Get the Teferi's Tutelage. Just probably just creates a scoop anyway. This is the best way to play against this deck anyway. So that's what we're doing. But land on the next turn gets us Mythos and Nethroi. Another Teferi's Tutelage. That means they're not countering here. Unless they play a land. Shouldn't have Essence Scatter, right? Alrighty, give us that land. Another Triome. Got all of our colors anyway, so play it out. Yes. Okay. Please no bounce. Please nothing else. <laughs> this is also just gonna kill them pretty quickly. No. Okay. Into the story. All right. They draw lots of cards. We mill lots of stuff. We get more stuff from the battlefield, so that's fine. Um, yep. Dude, so much stuff. Into the story, we'll start ca costing more. Down to 20 cards. Yeah, we should be able to outpace them here. It's in land. Opt. Try to mill us for more. We go to 19... This is pretty close. If they have another into the story, so we do need to get a Redain onto the battlefield, which we've got. Um, six. I actually have the ability to hit both Nethroids, right? With with Lotus Cobra. All right. So <laughs> put this on white mana. Add green. I I think it's right. Right. So seven. Yeah? <laughs> yes? Yes, please? Uh, Alright. Uh, seven. Let's get some Lotus cover or some other stuff out there. Redain and uh, Guild Goose. Okay. So, yeah, submit those six for the first one. Alright, Lotus Cobra, Aspicious Styrix, and not the other Redain. Alright, there we go. Just, just a few things on board, you know, no big deal. <laughs> Down to two. All right, can you kill us this turn? I, I doubt it, especially with the Redain to stop the into the story. Uh, if they hit land and then into the story, they can still draw lots of cards. Ruin crab. Now they can't into the story. Ruin crab. All right, they drew a lot of stuff though. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, that's twelve cards. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. <laughs> it's really close, though. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Stop it. <laughs> uh, now they could have Cacophony as well. Yeah, there it is. Oh, good game. We did the coolest thing possible, too. Oh, darn it. What a game, though. That was a blast. Uh, I'm fine losing there. We got to bring out everything from the graveyard back to back to the board. <laughs> I even wrote it down as a win because I was like, that was that was such a good game. I'm fine with that. All right. On to the next one. Um, turn four, Binding the Old Gods. Is that fast enough? Into Vivian. Uh, all again. E. this is worse. This is much worse. Can I mulligan again, though? I don't want to go down to five. All right, there we go. We got there. We got the perfect hand again. Um, do I hold on to binding? 
We have turn two Redain. Or I could try to hit a land and we have Binding Old Gods as well available. Oh, that's, we're going to try that. I, I don't think that's necessarily the right way to do this, but it has the highest upside. Okay, guys, that's that's what we're here for is the highest upside. Goodness. All right. If we find an unta a tapped land here, then we'll hold off. Oh, no. Red mana kills our stuff. We got blocks for that for days, my friend. For days. All right. We hit a land. Uh, yeah, we're going to go play Redain out. I don't know that Guild of Goose survives the next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and play this out while I can. Uh, if it does survive, we get to make a, a food token and then get to Binding of Gods, which actually is pretty good curve. No snow lands yet. All right, play this out in black. They're actually going to let us draw cards here. I'm kind of okay with that. All right, so it is knights. No snow mana for knights. No expensive things. So we want to play this on the other side. That would definitely be butter. Tax all in. Rimrock knight. Seems like a possibility. All right. Um... They haven't played anything out yet. Taking six. I could double block the Stormfister Skater and make a food token. I kind of don't hate the card draw at the moment, but the damage is annoying. We can bind the old gods, kill the other one. If even if they have Rimrock Knight, we still get to kill this now. Alright, so it gives it that touch. That's fine. Uh, they do actually get to kill both of these now. Eerie ultimatum. Well, that's a ways away, but could be cool. I guess we throw this on black, right? So we can get closer to it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bind the old gods. Black lance, we're taking four. Uh, and we just need anything that'll keep us alive here. Luckily, a lot of our mutate creatures are pretty be big and beefy. This one's going to be a tough one, guys. <laughs> Order of Night. Uh, didn't tap down the right things to play it out. Auto tapper sometimes is just annoying. Order of Midnight is pretty good, though. Just has an attacker itself. Finding the gods. All right, let's grab Triome. Yeah, we're definitely just wanting to ramp, so... Um, we actually almost have Eerie Ultimatum soon. Everything with different names, though. All right, so Binding Little Gods, kill, I guess, Order of Midnight. It's not like it's an amazing card. Yeah, okay, sure. Fervent Champions can be worse because they can quickly equip. If I killed one of the Fervent Champions, it actually would have stopped more damage. So th that was a misplay. I would have taken three damage this turn instead of four. So I, I did. I should have hit a Fervent Champion there. Yeah, yeah. Don't draw board relevant cards. You guys are predicting it gets me right now. What's up with this? <laughs> All right, down to seven. That's rather relevant. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that seems pretty legit. Um... All right, we didn't hit a land, so we go for another Triome. Uh, yeah, Garrick. Get some Wolfies out there. Yeah, we're taking damage. We're still not exactly not dead. <laughs> uh, Eerie Ultimatum on the next turn. I think we do have it, right? I need another green source. So we have it all, yeah. All right, so survive. They have a Black Lance Paragon. 
All we got to do is live. One turn. No Ember Cleave. No shenanigans. There's a lot of things that kill us here. Uh, Rimrock Knights would be awful. Okay, plays out order. Minute. That's a good sign. But they also can potentially kill us. All right. Uh, yeah, Aerial Ultimatum is still awesome here. Yes, we get to untap. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. Stuff gets death touch. Uh, put this on green. Aerial Ultimatum. Oh boy. All right, only one of each name, so that's fine. Uh, we can actually block Order of Midnight pretty easily now. Um, so kill Stormfist Crusader, I think. Just because keep, it keeps doing damage to us. We don't really want them to be drawing cards now, because now we are in a little bit better shape. Uh, I think I need to kill something else here too. Let's kill... Kramer Wolves would be nice, but let's go ahead and get rid of a Fervent Champion. Now they can't swing in quite as easily against us. <coughs> they probably... Uh... Oh, we got another Redain too. Perfect. All right, so the other side of the Redain is pretty sweet too, but no attacks for now. No attacks for now. I think we turned the corner here, guys. Oh my goodness. Murder Shrider. All right, that's not great. We only had the one uh, ultimatum. Commander. This guy gets pretty annoying. Oh, thank you. Get some breakfast. Oh, sweet. Dude, and the best stuff in the world, Valentina. No sponsorship, but you don't need it. Because this is just good stuff. Um, let's block with Goose. Now we have another Redain, right? So... Double block here. Okay. Just don't... Yeah, Goose can keep getting us alive, so that's pretty good stuff. Uh, we have Redain into Great Horn onto the Goose. Or I might just play it out just as another blocker. Lotus Curve was also nice. Okay, another Triome. I might want some of those in our hand at some point. Uh, so we can actually cycle. Uh, but yeah, this is fine. So, Leotis Kubra. Uh, playing the other side of... Of... Dane might be worthwhile. Alright, we have Lotus Cobra to make this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and... Uh, mutate... Onto... Goose. I'd rather keep the goose alive. Grab a forest. Doesn't really matter now. Um, add white mana. I think I do play this side of Redain. No attacks. Pass the turn. Because that's a big deal. Now everything deals less damage. And that is a pretty big deal. Eat the food <laughs> after the game. I'll, I'll try to do it in between games a little bit. But yeah, seriously, okay. If you guys have never tried Valentina hot sauce, this is like, so my family, um, we used to go across the border pretty often down to Mexico. Um, Cause we had, uh, that's where we would buy cattle for my stepdad's business. And, um, all right, cost one more to cast. What's he targeting here? Great horn. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's fine. That is annoying. That's bad. All right. Indestructible. So I only get to kill one of these. It is worth killing. I could block here and not have him actually get through. Uh, but yeah, we need to get rid of the Indestructo guy. Take three. We get to gain six life on the next turn. And we're just hoping that we have a good draw. <gasps> he tried to kill the wolf. Yes. Oh, yes. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, mutate. It would be nice just to have a 6-6 six, six out, but... Okay, go here. Over. Still have mana to gain 6. Okay, sweet. Another blocker. That's all we wanted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gain some life now, just in case they have some gotcha moment thing here they can do. Yes! <laughs> sweet! Oh, that's beautiful. Anyway, sorry, I, I finished the story real quick. Uh, this didn't used to get sold in America. And so we would actually go down to Mexico and get it every like every once in a while. Like bottles this big too. These are massive. Um, but our family would go through stuff like that actually fairly quick. It was embarrassing. I love this stuff. All right, up against Ploosh. Uh, we're going to keep this. We have some really good plays here. All right, so we are going to lead off with Triumph so we can get down the Goosey Goose. Or Lotus Cobra on this turn. I think... Uh, it's kind of an interesting choice. You know, actually, let's go for... Man, it does Goosey Goose stay alive? That's or, or the Lotus Cobra stay alive? It's probably better to hold off. So let's go Goosey Goose. I get to have two extra mana. The, the biggest upside definitely was to go for Lotus Cobra there. I just don't, I don't believe it's going to survive, you know? Um, but we get to play Lotus Cobra into Mutate with the Goose. And we're pretty close to Garrick then. I mean, that's pretty fast stuff. Betrayal. Most of our stuff is pretty expensive. I don't know how they're going to get to playing that in two turns. Probably not very likely. All right, so. Kubra. Um, pathway. What colors do we need? We do need more black in general for the ultimatum, but we'll just go green here. So I do need green mana for the mutate. Uh, you know, what? let's actually go gem razor. Do I care about this right now? They only exiled one thing, and it's not anything they can cast anytime soon, right? Yeah, let's let's have we can we can mutate that onto other stuff later. Um, let's go on to the cobra. Grab a planes. Last turn. Life's good. Doing the ramp stuff. Garrick on next turn. See, they get a... Um, we might actually want a gem razor, because that is uh, turn five. I forgot that it is still a decent play. Okay. King Narfi's Betrayal again. Oh, they get more of the Styrixes. All right. <coughs> um, all right, so... Did they steal anything with this one? Is there only one card with that? Ashrak, don't they get to pick like multiple things? It's a uh, Planeswalker, well it's creature or Planeswalker card, okay. So we don't want them to have Ashrak. Um, yeah, let's go Gem Razor onto Great Horn. We actually have to play Binding of Gods and kill the other thing as well, so no Ashrak for you. Grab a forest. Um, add black mana. And green mana. Find the old gods. Kill Narfi's Betrayal. Nope. Um, did we have all of our basic lands that... Oh, they've milled... Have they really milled all of our basic lands? That's so dumb. What? For the love. That's ridiculous. Alright, um, I want to try to resolve Garrick here. We do have extra mana at the moment. Um, I can play out here as well. I could also cycle this at some point. Alright, let's go for Garrick. Counterspell would be really annoying here. I could have tried to attack in first, see if they'd have removal. Sweet. 
Alright, start making some wolfies. Soul Shatter. Alright. So it's a Turgrid deck. Alright, we got four more power out of it. I'm totally fine with that. I think I do want to start cycling. I'm trying to find some other things, because more Binding All Gods would be nice. More of our bigger things. Um, we don't get to play Ugin unless I play this out right now. Unless this stays alive. Keeps two on top. That's bad. Okay, pass the turn. Um, worst thing for us here is Extinction Event, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep, there it is. Alright, Cycle. Lotus Cobra. I, mean, I might as well. Do I play Blinding Old Gods just on an Omen of the Sea? I think there's going to be better things for us to hit. Um... All right, create a food token. Pass the turn. Yeah, I'd much rather kill like a Yorion or something else here. Birth Melotis. Definitely slows us down. We still just need to top deck good stuff. They've milled out all of our lands. So, I mean, like literally we don't have many more lands. I think we have like eight more pathways and that's it. So, yeah. Snow lands. Um, there's a Redain that actually is relevant here. They do have snow stuff. It's a little bit late for it to be very relevant, but it'll stop him from an Ugin for a couple more turns. It can hit in. Yorion. All right. That's pretty okay. Still get card draw and everything. Doesn't blink Birth Emeritus. Why not? We just want to gain life right away. I guess so. I feel like I'd still want to be able to like get a land and stuff out of the deck. Valky. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and create some more food. Eat some foods. This does say each opponent. I was thinking that the other side of this could maybe uh, counter the ability, but no, it's each opponent. Valky's so good. Do they have any red source for Valky? I'm sure that's like one of in the deck. All right, Binding of Gods. Kill the Yorion, swing him with Redain. I want to try trading off with the Valky. Not yet. I'm not even sure if I want to play out the Lotus Cobra just yet. We do need mutate targets, and so maybe holding it in hand will be better for us. Yeah, that's past turn. All right, back up to 10. Four cards in hand. We're definitely not out of this. They still have Castle Vantress. Shark Typhoon comes out. All right. How many bindings have we gone through? Three. All right. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum. <laughs> That's definitely by far the best draw that we can find. Uh, Ugin wouldn't be bad either. But yeah, Eerie, uh, Eerie Ultimatum here is so good. Thirty-three cards left. Three cards do really good stuff for us here. Vivian. That's not one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. No more things to search for because they all got mailed out in like the first second. Um, 
Great Horn onto Gilded Goosey. Get to hit four or five. Yep, yeah, no targets. Doesn't matter. Dude, I that is so annoying they milled them all out right at the beginning. I'd rather they mill out the pathways so I could just have action in hand now. Um, now that we have the ability to go a little bit wider, is it worth playing Lotus Cobra? I don't think so. I think their best play is still some sort of board wipe. And so I want something for after that. Oh gosh. Come on, give us a give us a shark. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep, that's bad. Eliminates. Yep, that's also bad. All right, come on. Now I think we need Ugin. Ugin off the top. I believe in you. Wait, did we already lose Ugin? No. Pass to my turn. We got a Binding of Old Gods. Wow. That's a big deal. Exchange control of two non-basic non-creature permanents of shared card type. So they could switch these together. I could, what I could do is I could kill the Omen of the Sea. They have to switch um, non-creature stuff, artifacts. So this is this is actually a rather interesting play. They can switch the Tricksters, uh, which us dealing three points of damage isn't the worst. Do we have other ways to make that happen? So I could kill Omen of the Sea here. It doesn't say that that uh, they, these can't switch themselves, though. So, yeah, I will kill the Shark Typhoon. We'll go ahead and play out Lotus Cobra now. Gain some life. Let us go a little bit wider. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but if they tap down, we at least can swing in. Pass turn. They should build a sack in response now. But I don't think that they get anything out of it. Let me use my tome. Okay. They do get some life gain. Soonish. This has been a crazy game, man. This this has been a fun deck in general. I really like it. Baby's crying. Oh no! All right, down to twenty-two. Redain. Dang, Redain. Uh, we'll sack Omen. I think I'm okay trading off with both of these. No attacks. I guess not. It's really not that worthwhile. Unless we're getting in for damage, it's not great. Sweet. Mm. Wait, did we get the trickster? No, they, they got to keep it. Yeah, now they're up to eight. I forgot about that side of it, too. Maybe I should have. Ah, oh, whatever. Ashiok. Come on, Ugin. We get to look three cards deep. We have a f one more turn, I think, now. So, yeah, two turns. Next turn, and then the turn after that to find it. Come on, villain. Stop rooting for the other person. <laughs> Just because you get channel points for it. Come on, now. <laughs> Telling the inner CGB here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't root for Esper. 
Why didn't I get to sacrifice this? Oh, I don't have blue mana. Right. Right. All right. One more turn. <laughs> Give me some blue manas. Oh, I was wanting to sack at the upkeep, but that, that makes sense. I can't actually do it without blue mana. Oh, man. Great cards. Just not an Ugin. All righty. Come on, Oog. Like, that actually would have been pretty sweet. We would have gone for Vivian. I could have activated, or I could have played it off the top. Shuffle the library a little bit. All right, no attacks. We still get to kind of do some stuff here. If they if they exile the Ugin off the top here, I'm going to be so pissed. Everything has a death touch. Mm-hmm. This was Nightmare. Kills a Cobra. Okay. Two more non Ugin cards came off the top. That's okay. Pulling up three mana. We still have one turn to draw. Oh my gosh! Please don't counter it. Please don't counter it. We got the Ugin. Yes! <laughs> Yes, negative five. Oh my heavens. What? <laughs> you hate everything happening here. No, root for me, gosh darn you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I still think that we're probably dead. Um, if they have any way to remove Ugin, I think we're just completely done for. All right. They have to share creature type, so they have to have a Planeswalker to play here. They can deal three points of damage to us, though. That's the biggest thing here. We have to gain life before this final trigger. All right, past the turn. Are we? Oh gosh, they still have a way to kill us. If I could have even found like a saga to play there to exchange, we would have been in better shape. No, come on, stop it. All right, goose, give me the goose. Uh, Mythos of Nethroi into goose or uh, airy ultimatum. Uh, tapping that down. Take that, fool. Oh, you may exchange. Oops. <laughs> Gains for life. Darn it. No! No! <laughs> How am I dying to the Trickster God's Heist card? Come on. <laughs> no! Cycles through everything. Yep. Oh no! I don't have a creature for it! No! <laughs> oh, I should have targeted myself for the fun. Oh, good game. No! Wait, hit yourself! Come on, you can target player. Target player. Oh, fine. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Curse you, the butter. It's all your fault. <laughs> what a fun game. That was a blast to play. My goodness. Dude, We Hate Snow was so fun to play. Absolutely loved it. And Redain on turn two does just kind of close out some games. There was one game there where they had a good play on turn five. Couldn't play it because they had some tapped lands because of Redain. So uh, that we just win. There's, so this side of it's really good. The protector's shield side of it, actually really good against uh, against a bunch of different things. I don't know. In general, this is really fun. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, for those of you that are already subscribers or make it to the end every time, secret word for this one is uh, don't eat yellow snow. That is it. Um, and, <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.